Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Today's Thanksgiving morning, and Big Daddy's in the shop. Uh, Diane wanted me to prove to Diane up in Chicago. Wanted me to prove to her how easy fretting is. She said, "Convince me." So here I'm going to show you how easy it is with tools that are pretty basic that just about you can buy just about anywhere. I've got this fret ruler that I made um, off of a metal one that I have from Stuart McDonald. Um, you can also just take and make one off a copy of a, any guitar you're wanting. You can get the scale off of it. I just kind of got fond of this piece of wood. But anyway, just lay out your fret positions with the ruler. It's a pretty snappy process. I go through and I make a little mark. Once I've got that done, I take a framing square. You can buy it at any home center for five bucks or less. Transfer my marks all the way across. So I got something to use as a guide when I'm cutting. The frets in. You can have the whole fret board laid out and marked in a matter of just a couple of minutes. I'm only going to do three or four frets just so I can show you. Um, once I've got them laid out, I clamp my neck down to the uh, workbench just to make it a little easier to hang on to. My Stuart Mac fret saw, the second best thing I've ever bought behind my band saw. There's lots of ways you can cut these with other saws, but to me, this was well worth the investment. The framing square does two things for me. It keeps me straight across the neck and it gives me an edge to hold my saw to to keep it 90 degrees from the fretboard. <laughs> Cut the first one in. Second one. And on down the line. We'll do one more. Okay. Pretty easy. You can have the whole neck cut in the matter of just a couple of minutes. Then I take some fret wire I get from Stuart Mac. Um, comes in two foot sticks. I buy a tube of it. This is one pound. And I buy the one that has like 90 some feet in it. It's not real tall, it's not real wide, but most of the time these things are played slide. It's sufficient for fingering a guitar. Um, I get 25, 30 guitars out of a pound. It costs me about 50 bucks. Uh, but you divide that out, that's only a few dollars a guitar. Plastic faced hammer. You can buy this at any home center. I think I paid five. $4.99 or $5.99 for this one at Menards, I think it was. Um, just lay your fret wire in, and I usually flush it up to the outside. Tap it in. Snip it off. The pliers you can buy at Sears or any hardware store. I don't think those were even $10. They were $8.99 or $9.99. No need to buy the $50 pair from Stuart McDonald's. Their tool, I'm sure, is very nice, but this is just as effective, and for what I saved, I can buy more fret wire or more tools. You see how easy that goes in? It's quite simple. You can do the entire neck in no time flat. Now, if you're going to sand your neck down and put a lacquer on it or any other kind of finish, naturally you do that before you set your frets but I'm doing this kind of on the quick to show you how I do it. There's a couple ways to file these down. You can use a flat file, again, less than 10 bucks at a Sears or anywhere else. And I just kind of hold it right to the neck flush so that I'm not really filing on the side of the neck, but just catching what sticks up from the fret. And once you've got it done, you can feel it. You run your hand along and it's nice and flush with the neck. Now you should also dress it up at a 45 degree angle so there's no sharp edge above the fretboard. That Again, you can do this with this same file. It's real nice and easy. Hold it at a 45 and work it. Now I typically will then come back and go from this side just to make sure I got it real good. I went and made myself. Stuart Mack will sell you one of these for about 40 bucks. A scrap block of wood and a three dollar file. Set your table saw on a 45 degree angle, tap your file down in there, works perfect. And the nice thing with that is 
you get all your frets at once, four or five passes, and it's done. The other thing I do is I will sometimes hold a piece of like, oh, four or six hundred grit paper on here, and that will also press and level any frets that might have a high spot. That's it. You know, I've got uh, five bucks, three bucks, maybe ten, maybe ten, fifteen, and about thirty. Fifty to sixty dollars, you've got all the tools you need, and you'll use them for other things as well. I highly recommend the Stuart Mac fret saw. It's one of the best tools I've ever bought. Everything else is home center tools you can get on the cheap. Fretting is easy. It gives your guitar a, a finished look. Whether you're going primitive or you're going ultra mega, you know, uh, super exotic guitar. But frets, they're easy. It's cheap. You know, to me, I hardly ever do any fretless anymore because this is too easy. And it gives it a finished look, if you will. So, that's it. Hope that uh, helps you out. Um, and again, happy Thanksgiving to everybody on the Cigar Box Forum. So, you guys have a good one. I'm headed to eat some turkey. Have a good day.